I finally bought my dream car, a 2019 Tesla Model 3. Finally saved up enough money, got a good deal on my car and then found this one. So far I'm loving life with it, I've had it for a few months now, but I'll take you guys along with me on a ride. You've seen the car. But why did I buy it? Well, I'll tell you why I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it for its sporty and nimble feel. Because, to be honest, it's quite a heavy car. And you can really feel it in the corners. On the other hand, you do have the straight line acceleration. And that feeling just never gets old. I also didn't buy it just because it's an EV. To be honest, charging can be quite a hassle, especially when you live in an apartment like I do. I don't have a home charger, so I have to use the mobile charger and some extension cords. So that's not the most easy thing in the world. And I'm also not convinced yet that EVs are the future for the environment as well. I also didn't buy it for its great value. If I'm being honest, if I would have bought a gas powered car, for the same price I could have had something which was bigger, more luxurious, faster. I could have even bought a cheaper car, which would have been better than this. But then why did I buy it? I bought it because it's an exciting car. Anytime I park it up, I just want to get back in it. It excites me to go for a drive. It's like the first day with a new toy. Except for me, this feeling, it doesn't get old. Except being exciting, it's also a very practical car. You do have a lot of small features, and some of them are gimmicky, but others are actually very good. And they are meant to make your life a lot easier. And some of them actually do make my life a lot easier and I couldn't imagine living without them anymore. You also have the massive storage space and those two combined it just makes it a very good family car so for me it's also a future proof. I get to have an exciting car but also something practical I can take on a holiday. I can put my girlfriend, my dog, maybe future kids. I can fit all of that in this car and it can still be exciting. When I'm driving this car people on the road they're still looking at it. And even though this car, it has been out for quite some time, and people have been driving it for a long time, when I take it out, when I'm charging, people still come up to me and ask me questions. What it's like living with an EV? What's the range like? How's the acceleration? How does it feel driving? What's the battery like? And that tells me that this is still something special. Because if you drive like a normal BMW, people don't randomly come up to you and ask about your car. If you drive something exciting, they do. So that tells me that this is an exciting car, a special car even though this has a lot of downsides. For me, this is the perfect car. It's exciting, it gets attention, it brought back my love of cars, it's practical, and with all the small features and even the gimmicks, because they can be fun sometimes as well. For me, this is just the perfect car. Thank you guys for watching, but that's the end of the video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If there's anything you want to see about the car, just let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try to make a video about it. And if you want to see more content, subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next one.